What is going on guys? Welcome to Rev and Step. I have a way different video for you guys today. It's nothing to do with cars. Uh, I've been gone for a long time from the channel, for a long, long time. But it's nothing to do with cars. Uh, I'm not branching off the channel to something else, but I thought a lot of you guys might be interested in this. Uh, recently I moved, I got a garage for the car, so there will be a lot more car content coming up at some point. However, I'm going through a few things in my life. And I have a different video for you, uh, a video that you, some of you might like. You probably see a lot of this, uh, this specific item being commercialized. So what I mean by that is, with moving, I took the great opportunity to order the Nectar mattress. And you guys can see right over here, the Nectar mattress. Wait, wait, where is it going? Yep, right back here. The Nectar mattress. And I also ordered their actual um, bed frame, so the whole platform with the, with the actual bed. And in addition to that, it also comes with their, I guess, pillowcases, their pillows, their covers, mattress covers, or whatever. So this video is going to be, again, it's going to be a little bit technical. It, you can picture it as working on cars, but not actually working on cars, assembling a bed. And I wanted to make this video, so there's a lot of videos about this mattress online. But I didn't see one from the beginning to the end where it shows how to build up the mattress, how the frame looks, the quality, and how to actually unfold the mattress, open it up, and get it ready. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to build the bed, open up the actual mattress, let it expand, and let's see how it looks. So let's get going. Alright, so here we go. I already loosened up the, the tape on the side so I can open up this box. This, I'm pretty sure, was FedEx or whoever was delivering the package. They messed it up. Um, it's not... You can see the headboard uh, from, from the actual hole, but it doesn't look like it's damaged. So let me open up this for you guys so you can see how it's packaged. Boom. It actually looks pretty nice. I'm really a huge fan of the color. I think it's going to match really well with the nice things I'm getting. And you guys, all of a sudden, this channel became a furniture channel. But why not? You never know. I might have huge, huge success. Okay, so I hope you can hear me well. This is what it looks like. I, I'm going to put you guys there, so because I need a lot of space, I'm going to put the headboard back there. So I'm going to start unpacking everything. I want to see how they package the whole thing, because this is supposed to be the platform, the headboard, the rails, everything, the whole span. I see what they actually did. This is very interesting. So this is just the headboard, the way you're looking at it. There's nothing else in the box. However, this holds everything inside. So let me show you. You can see the zipper. I'm gonna unzip. Alright, you guys ready to see what's inside? That's a lot of stuff. I don't know how they fit everything in the headboard, but that is smart packaging. Alright, that's everything, I believe. So we have this box right here. I believe this is probably all the tools. I'm gonna put them over there. I don't need this styrofoam. Here we go. These are probably... They look like they're the rails. More of the rails. Yep, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure these are the rails. They probably, they go together. Here we go. We have the rails. These should be the slats. Yep, that's what it looks like. It looks like they're all tied together. Yep, you can see. I'll sit you guys over there because I need both of my hands. These are the slats. All right, I can remove the cover. Maybe not yet. There is something else in here. Okay, so this is the footboard. Good quality. 
All right, I can clean the headboard a little bit. There's packing material. There's some styrofoam. And there's a cardboard box thing. All right. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna clean the room a little bit, get rid of the cardboard box, and I'm gonna start setting up the bed so you guys can see how easy it is. Or at least I think it's easy, we'll find out. And real quick before I forget, they actually say right here, it says everything is inside basically. It says all parts are located inside zipper pocket of the headboard, which it was. We got all the parts just sitting right over there. As I promised, this is the, the toolbox or I guess all the accessories that come uh, with or whatever was inside the headboard. So let's see what's in here. Obviously I opened it already, if you guys can tell. So we have some legs, which I'm gonna toss over there. Don't worry, I don't have neighbors downstairs just yet. Uh, a lot of bolts, some, some Allen keys, which I'm gonna probably get my tools, uh, because I hate using these Allen keys. So we're gonna put those right there. These, I believe these support the rails that go underneath, like the, the feet or whatever. So these rails don't break. Yeah, you guys can see they're probably going here in these holes. We have, we have some more slats, which I'm pretty sure these would go here, maybe. Not sure, by the way, excuse me with the light, it's starting to get dark outside. This light is not super bright, so you guys are going to have to deal with this. And lastly, we have some directions, but no one cares about directions. The first thing I believe we have to do is, if you guys see these legs, we're going to have to put the leg, each leg on its obvious place, here as well. So because I have you in my hand, I'm going to start with the footboard first, and you guys can see there's a little hole. And these holes look perfect. Uh, the quality, the quality so far is really good. There's nothing I can complain about or nothing that I see that's, you know, where they've cut corners because of budget. And it's probably just as simple as screwing this thing on. The tighter the better. Or is that what they say? I don't know, you guys tell me down below in the comments. Is it better when it's tight? So just not to bore you out or, you know, drive you insane, but I'm going to do all this, the same thing for the other three places. I'm going to put another leg over there and I'm going to put the other two legs, one there and one there. So I'll be back. So here's the bed, finished completely. You guys look how, look how beautiful it is. It's gorgeous. Anyway, this is a, a rough sketch. You guys can see the legs are on. These are the rails. This is, as I was uh, showing you guys earlier, these are the little, I guess, semi-legs cap brackets where they connect the rail in the middle, which happens over there too. So this will be nice because it's like a, a middle leg to where it supports everything, so that way the bed won't crush in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a good space for you guys so you can see what I'm doing, which is gonna be a little bit difficult, but I'll figure it out. Next step is find the baggie with the letter J. I don't know if you guys can tell. This is this is a, a J. Yes, it's a J. You guys can see. Uh, they give you, they provide you the actual Allen key, uh, but I don't want to use Allen key. I have an actual ratchet with with the proper size. If you can zoom in properly. I don't know if you guys can see it. Proper size Allen key on there. And here's what the rails are gonna look like. So you have the full rail, I've put it on the floor so it's even out. Here's the leg, and all you have to do is get one of these bad boys, these little screws, put it in here, tighten it up. So you have four here and four over there on the other side. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna skip the boring part of me putting stuff together, and I'll be back with the next step. I missed another important part is your washers, which is the letter O, and you need those bad boys to go in between the actual bolt. You guys can see I started and I was like, wait, this looks very weird. You need a washer. So don't miss those as well. And the next thing is find the baggie with the letter I. 
because these bolts they need to be a little bit more sturdy they're shorter and they go in each corner so you have two bolts that go here and then the rail hooks on there it's really simple and you have the same thing on the footboard but oh this thing is heavy but it's basically this hole and this hole put two screws hook the rail on there so this video might be getting a little bit longer i don't know if i'm gonna do two parts i might do just the bed assembly first as one video and then i'm gonna do the mattress i don't know how long it is once i start editing it i'm gonna figure it out and also i've been talking a lot in this video but i'm gonna do that those uh i'm gonna do the next step and i'll be back god it would be nice if i had some help this is it's getting difficult no it's actually it's not too bad but uh here's the finished product of the actual bed so now the next thing i'm working on is the rails that's my socks, that's my feet. The rails, you guys can see the extra freestyle that are supposed to be the pillows and some other crap. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's actually a pretty nice looking bed. I really like it. Uh, the rails, a few things. This you have to force. So basically what you do is, uh, this is kind of like the middle bar that's going to support the rails so they don't break down the middle when you are sleeping. And you put in these little legs right here. So you need your... Number K, I already opened it up, but this is number K or uh, letter K. And then you need letter P. This is going to go on the bottom of these feet. Basically one on the bottom and then you put the foot on there to support it. So you have the rails, you have the middle support bar and you need to screw this on top. And then you put in the, the, last, the last piece and then you put it on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys one by one what to do or how I'm approaching this because this is a little bit more difficult. I wish I had another person helping me, but I do not. But I'm just going to start screwing this on top. And it's simple. And another thing is uh, the holes were, I had to force it down a little bit. They were kind of crooked because it looked like this middle rib or the supporting bar the holes were not drilled properly so this is it was a little bit difficult to force in place but it worked so i'm just going to do that and i'm not going to tighten it all the way down i'll just show you what it's supposed to look like basically and then you have this little baggy tee just open it up take one of the legs out and put it on top right here and you can adjust these are adjustable so you can adjust the height of this to make sure it supports it supports it enough so the next thing after you guys do this is i'll recommend flip it over use your allen key hold the bolt and just keep tightening this up to where it, uh it's it's tight it's nice and tight that's how we like it nice and tight actually it might actually do it by itself so you don't even need to use the tool there you go and then just use this little leg to adjust the height so I'm going to do that side, I'm going to put it in there, I'm going to do the last piece of the rails, which is going to go on that, like the, the top half. <sighs> and then I will show you the finished product before we open Ta the beautiful blue box with the mattress that's supposed to go over this bed. And here it is. This is the bed. This is pretty strong actually. So it's really cool. It's going to make some noise. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna I'm gonna miss I'm gonna skip the step. This is bag. Let me see if you guys can focus. It doesn't want to focus. I think it's because of the light. It's getting kind of dark. But this is bag number N, um, and it's supposed to go in these holes right here. But I'm gonna skip this because all it does is keep this in place so it doesn't move but it's already pretty stuck this is velcro so it's stuck already on there i don't need to drill more holes and stuff like that so let's get to the big step before it gets super dark out opening up this big old mattress so now not sure how well you guys can see this i'll have to squat a little bit or rest on the bed or fall asleep this feels really good actually i might fall oh i'll catch you guys back later oh that's nice 
But anyway, I'm gonna try and do my best so you guys can see the unfolding of this mattress because that's, that's the important part. That's what you guys are here for. So I'm gonna get my trustworthy scissors. I know you can't see my face probably. My face is ugly so it's not important. There we go, this is open. I got to do this part. Oh snap. It says on here, open it from this side pretty please. So I'm gonna follow the instructions. So there's a little packet. There's a little packet right here that says, open me first. So let's open that first. Okay, let's see what's inside. So there's a, fair, there, there's a little warning that says not to jump, sleep, or do anything if the mattress cover is removed. So I guess that's important. It, uh, so apparently if the mattress cover is removed, it can ruin the integrity of the mattress. And a failure to, to follow this, not to sleep, jump, or do anything if the mattress cover is removed, could lead to injury. That's important. So there's a, a little guide, I guess, a uh, nectar guide. So I'm gonna follow this and see if it says anything important, and I'll keep you guys updated. Basically, it's pretty simple. You have to, you have to follow instructions. They give you in a booklet that gives you like a story about them, uh, what to do. But the simple, the simple truth is, you have to set up the mattress, open it up, let it expand. It says it's going to expand about three to five hours. It should fully expand, uh, and definitely 48 hours. It should fully, fully, fully expand. Uh, they give you a little, uh, I don't know, like a little envelope opener. I'm guessing to like cut the, the actual uh, cover of the mattress once you lay it on the bed or whatever you do. Um, and that's it. It also says give it about 30 days to make sure it's fully comfortable and after 30 days you should judge it if it's the mattress for you. So let's open it. Hopefully I don't need help. I'm decently weak, dude. So I should not have a problem, right? Here's the mattress. I sure hope they send me a queen size. I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like it will fit the bed, but I still have to unfold it. So uh, let's, let's do that. Let's see where I can cut it and how I unfold it. So what I'm gonna do is with whatever they provided me, I'm gonna cut the seam down here. Oh, this is pretty easy. I see why they provided a tool now. Oh, it's already expanding. Oh, there we go. It's growing. So I guess I better hurry up and flip it this way. Okay, there we go. Yep, it is a queen size. It has the nectar. It's already expanding pretty quickly. I'll set you guys down here so maybe you can see a little bit better what it looks like. So you guys can see, that's why. That's the reason why I flipped it so you guys can see the nectar. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this with the tool they gave me. 
because that too was pretty epic. All right, dudes and dudettes, it's getting dark outside. Actually, the sun is coming out because it's been pretty cloudy here in Florida. But this is, this is the finished product. This is pretty much what it looks like. I might have to mess it around once it's fully expanded because I don't think it's yet fully expanded. Might have to mess around a little bit. It's a bit dirty over here. I'm not sure why or what happened. Could be my fault. But yeah, sorry about my breathing. I'm pretty tired today. It's been a long ass day. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so soft. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it right now. I'm guessing soon needs to expand. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this mattress a full try. So I'm gonna give it about two days, I believe it said on there, where it's fully expanded because right now it's pretty soft. It's very, very soft right now. So I'm gonna give it two days so it can expand fully. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. I know this is a long video, but I wanted, I wanted you guys to see the full process from unpacking the actual frame to laying down the mattress i really want to take a nap right now i am exhausted just from like moving today and actually unpacking and setting up this mattress it's been a, a, a long day it's been a very long day but this kind of feels good right now i'm about to fall asleep oh no, I'm kidding. I know this was a little bit more a uh, different video. It's more of the personal side. No cars, nothing like that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. That means a lot to me. Uh, please comment down below if you guys bought this mattress before. What is your opinion? What do you guys think? Because this feels really good right now. It's starting to... I can feel it expanding underneath me still. And it feels really good. This bed feels phenomenal. I feel like I'm about to fall asleep. I'm in cloud on a cloud basically <laughs> but anyway sorry i derailed please like the video let me know what you guys think of this video do you want more of my personal videos or do you want more car stuff let me let me know down below in the comments what you guys think and i'll catch you guys later